Another way to organize and easily identify emails in your inbox is by using color coding and categories. Color categories allow for you to add a color to any email that's in your inbox to be able to search for it by color at a later date and time. In my inbox, I'm going to select an email and I can add a color to this email so that way I can search for it by color at a later time or just as I'm in my inbox, just look at certain emails by color that I've designated as red for important or yellow for medium priority or green for low priority, however you want to designate those color categories. But to add a color to an email in your inbox, simply right click on that email and go to categorize and select a color. You can also set in the categorize area a quick click that will allow you to select a color that you can just with a single click mark that color on that particular email. So I've designated this email as green. So if I want to do a search for all of the emails in my inbox or in a folder that has the color green, I'm going to go to search and I'm actually going to come out of the search line and go to categorized and I'm going to select green category. And sometimes if it's not accessible in the immediate results, I can click on find on the server and that email will appear and all of the emails that have that particular color that are associated with that email. So I'm going to clear that from the search results and that's how you can categorize your emails by color but let's say i want to have a color associated with all of the emails that come in from timothy farmer to make it easily identifiable of those emails in case i get a, a lot of emails all the time and i want those emails to stand out by having them colored in red every time that email comes in i can do that by going to view, going to view settings, and I'm going to create a conditional format. In conditional formatting, I can create a new format by clicking on add. I'm going to call that rule Timothy Farmer, and I'm going to select a font that will stand out every time Timothy Farmer sends an email. So I'm going to select Arial. I'm going to do bold. I'm going to do big. And I'm going to give that condition a color. I'm going to give it the red color. And I'm going to click OK. And then now I add a condition to this rule, this format. By clicking on condition, I'm going to select on from, I'm going to put the email address of Timothy Farmer. I can also click on from and search the address book. There are some other rules or filters formats that you can find in this area. If I want to just color code all of the emails that I'm copied or I'm CC'd on, that's an option here in this drop down menu as well as some others but I'm going to stick with just getting a filter for his email address I'm going to click OK I want to double check my settings here this is the font and color that I want I'm going to click OK I'm going to click OK so here is an email that I sent to myself in my inbox now it is red so it is easily identifiable whenever a new message from timothy farmer comes in to be able to have it in a font and a color that i can easily notice and it'll stand out among all of my other emails so this is how you can use color categories and color coding in microsoft outlook